Hey soldiers, what's going on? This is Sergeant Merrill, and today we're going to be learning more about the quote-unquote B-23R in Black Ops 2 and where it got its inspiration. Ah, uh, the Beretta 23R. The hell's a 23R? They mean a 93R, right? <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of differences between the B-23R in Black Ops 2 and what is meant to represent, which is the B-93R in real life. Now, this is something that's not new to gaming. Developers often change the name of weapons to avoid any copyright violations and stuff like that, but we can also attribute the name change to the fact that this is significantly different than the 93R. In fact, it looks a lot more like a, a 1911, except for the fact that it has that folding front grip in the front that's purely cosmetic. We don't actually see it as a attachment. You can see it right there as it folds up under the barrel. Uh, that's supposed to fold down and be something that you could hold if you're right-handed. You can hold it with your left hand and support the weapon a lot more. We don't see that as an attachment in the game and I'm curious as to why, uh, but on this weapon it's purely cosmetic. It's also not the first time that we've seen a weapon like the 93R in Call of Duty. Many of you may uh, be familiar with a name called Rafika. I think that was in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, now the Rafika is what the R stands for in 93R. It's the name given to this variant. And y'all may remember that the Rafika actually had a buttstock, which is something that you can attach to the 93R. So it's interesting to see two different variations of this weapon in the Call of Duty series, even if this is kind of a more futuristic uh, take on the 93R. And this weapon has gathered quite a bit of interest, I want to say over the past 15 years. Uh, not just in games, but also uh, in real life. You know, it begs the question why. A lot of people are curious as to why you would want to own a three round burst pistol. And first, it's illegal for civilians, so your civilians aren't going to be the ones that own pistols like this. This was made for counter terrorism uh, for police organizations. And it's meant for those, uh, for those people and those policemen and those special forces that need a weapon that is very concealable, but also has rapid fire capabilities if the situation needed. It does have a select fire capability to which it can also fire in semi-automatic mode as well as the three round burst mode. And the three round burst mode is no joke. In real life, it shoots at 1100 rounds per minute. And when we're talking about a concealable pistol, that's pretty damn awesome if you ask me. Now, some also may be curious, it is chambered in 9mm, uh, and it is made by Beretta. And Beretta is a good manufacturer, if you'd ask me. It's an Italian manu manufacturer, and their designs are pretty solid. They had some trouble with their 9mm that they uh, contracted to the United States military at first, but they fixed a lot of the designs, and a lot of it's just pretty solid. Some of it's overpriced, but it's solid. Now, in-game, the B-23R is probably one of the more popular sidearms that you're going to see because of its ease of use. It's very easy to use, and it's extremely effective without any attachments. Now, there are those attachments that certainly make it better, like the long barrel, which is what I prefer because the range of this weapon can use some work if you're going to be using it exclusively, and the long barrel certainly helps with that. But it's not required for this weapon to do what it's meant to do, uh, which is get that one burst kill up close and with the recoil on this which is just about none when you're up close you're not going to notice much recoil when you're up close it's very easy to do now when you're getting those further away shots the recoil is going to come into play a little bit uh, but you really shouldn't be using this weapon at a distance it's not where this weapon is going to shine it shines at surprising the hell out of people up close and getting that one burst kill now with the burst there is some differences between the rate of fire in real life and the rate of fire in the game in real life like i said the 93r shoots at 1100 rounds per minute within the burst and in game it's around 900 rounds per minute uh, within the burst. So the actual rate of fire with this weapon when you consider the slight pause between bursts is somewhere around 675 rounds per minute. It's kind of hard to gauge uh, but from what I've read and what I've seen uh, that is what is being reported. Now what's most fun about using your secondary exclusively is that you really get to stack your perks. Uh, if you look on this when I respawn, you can tell I'm using five different perks. And that is so much fun. It's so liberating to have the ability to take advantage of so many perks because you're not so concerned with using primary gunfighter and using all these different attachments to make the weapon as good as it can be because it's already pretty good when you use it within what it's good for. And there are also a lot of benefits to going secondary only within itself. You move faster when you're aiming down the sights. You reload faster naturally with secondaries than you do with primaries. So if you use the right play style 
and realize your weaknesses going secondary only. It can be an extremely large amount of fun, and I do highly recommend it, and I do think this is a very good weapon to do it with. So I hope this video helped you guys learn a little bit more about the B-23R in Black Ops 2. And in the comments section, let me know what you think of this weapon. Do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it's one of your favorite secondaries? Uh, do you think there's a better secondary out there than this? And what would you like to see in the next video as far as weapons is concerned? But that's all I have for this video, guys. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.